Hi, I'm Andrew from Travel Photos, and um, this is a kind of a personal story where I talk about post-lockdown life. So, as many of you know, I'm now based in Melbourne, I'm not in Japan anymore, and I spent a bit of time, a bit of freedom in uh, Melbourne before lockdowns happened, before the coronavirus thing uh, came up, and during lockdown it was winter, it was just the worst lockdowns ever because you have to stay in your house 23 hours a day uh, for months on end. It's basically eight months of uh, living alone, 23 hours in your own four walls. And during that time, I clung on to Instagram, of course. And um, I also started to look at photos from this weird place I've not seen before. Uh, it turned out to be Mungo National Park, and so I subscribed to that hashtag, so I'm following that Instagram hashtag, Mungo National Park, and saw these amazing photos from there. And that's one of the things that kept me going, thinking, after the lockdowns, I'm going out, that's where I'm going. I'm going to see these really weird, amazing-looking uh, geographical, what do you call, monoliths or something? Um... I knew nothing about the place. When, in the final few days before I got there, I was like doing a lot of research. What is there? Can I camp? Is Are there cabins? All of that kind of stuff. And I started to learn more about the place, that it's a um, protected area and a very special area. There, they have all of these nice placarded information boards around the park at, um, in, at key locations. And... I learnt that um, the Australian Aboriginal culture is the oldest continual culture in the world. 45,000 years of evidence of continual habitation of that area, Mungo National Park. 45,000 years. But uh, it used to be a lake, actually. It's an ancient lake. And as you'll notice from my photos, there is no water there. And it was actually 39 degrees for like 10 hours of the day. It was insane. Um, so 45,000 years of human existence. But in the last uh, 17 to 18,000 years, it dried up because of the cli change in climate patterns. Natural climate change caused that area to dry up. And so the Aboriginal people there had to adapt. They had to change to uh, being from living on freshwater fish and mussels to um, basically uh, being hunters. Um, and it's very interesting to see. I do recommend that you go there. Also, an important piece of trivia, Mungo National Park is a World Heritage Site. And when Australia first applied for World Heritage status for some places, they applied for three places. The first is Kakadu National Park that you may have heard of, uh, the Great Barrier Reef, and Mungo National Park because of its uh, really unique and special cultural heritage and attachment to the land that the Aboriginal people have. It's where Mungo Lady was discovered, the oldest human fossils in the world, and I think the oldest cremated remains in the world. And Mungo Man was also discovered in, I believe, the late 1960s. Uh, so heritage, cultural value, um, as well as unique uh, value in terms of nature, conservation. It's also in the outback, uh, outback. I've never been to the outback before, so this is also a very special experience for me. And as you can see, I'm making a bit of a showcase of the roads. The roads are very long, boring, and I don't want to highlight them that much, but this is not the normal style of video that I would normally do. But as you can see, the roads are just... <laughs> All right, um, enjoy. Please like and subscribe to us.